breeders typically rely on natural breeding processes to produce calves, but times are changing. Yeah, apparently they are. Embryo transfer technology has revolutionized breeding strategies and it's helping more than just producers. Let's go to Roland Rodriguez. He is live at Moody's Meat Market to explain all of that. Hey, Roland. Hi, good morning guys and good morning South Texas. If cattle producers are expected to feed 9 billion people by the year 2050, uh, they're not going to rely on, I guess you could say, natural breeding techniques on its own. The commercialization of genetically engineered cattle embryos have been around for years, and cattle ranchers like Daniel Whitland says less than 2% of cattlemen in the state of Texas give animal breeding a try and do it on a day-to-day -day process. The main reason for going to this process is you get a very high percentage of very high quality calves out of embryo work, where 80% of the calves you get are going to be exactly what you're looking for, or real close to it. Uh, to where in artificial insemination, there's about 20% of the time that happens, and in natural birth, uh, it's every now and then. Gene editing allows producers to select traits they like from a particular breed and add it to their breed of cattle. It means single trait selection can be done without sacrificing production goals. If you hire someone else to do it, uh, it'll cost you anywhere from a thousand to, uh, oh God, it could go to three to four to five thousand dollars a calf to do this. Uh, we do it ourselves, so we can do it for a hundred to 150, 175 dollars a calf. One of the keys to this procedure success is the ability to provide a more economic embryo transfer procedure with fewer complications. It takes a lot of time to figure out the ins and outs of the process before you actually get it down to where it works very well. The process can be time consuming and costly, but Winland, who has been taking advantage of this relatively simple science to produce more calves for 15 years, says it can pay off in the long run. The people out there, uh, the consumers, they're getting a very top end product and, and we're producing cattle that live their whole lives in production, uh, not necessarily just for slaughter. Cattle ranchers tell me this is so close to uh, cloning, but it's technically not cloning. But anyway, a lot of folks benefit from this procedure.